So talking about some of the consequences of a high glucose diet, Mm. one of them you mentioned earlier when we were talking about glycation is aging. Mm. Has anyone ever done any research to prove that a high glucose diet is associated or correlated with increased or accelerated aging? I mean, yes, because we see that the people who eat the most sugar get the most diseases, right? So we see correlations, but they're not, they're not like a clinical trial. You can't take two populations and say, okay, everybody's 30 years old. We're going to give this half a healthy, no glucose spike diet and this half glucose spikes every single day. And then we'll see when they're 80, you know, which group has aged faster. We can't do that. That's unethical. So we have to look at correlations. Mm -hmm. And we see things like if you have really high glucose levels, high insulin levels, you're more likely to get heart disease, dementia, depression, et cetera, et cetera. We have correlative studies and we understand the mechanism of the glycation. What about the superficial signs of aging? Wrinkles. Oh, like the wrinkles? A lot of skincare products actually target glycation from the outside in. So they'll put like antioxidants on your skin to to reduce glycation. If you're in the skincare world, you'll see glycation mentioned everywhere. What they don't do is they don't look at how to reduce glycation from the inside out, which is what I think is more interesting. And it's through food. By reducing your glucose levels, you reduce glycation. It's just like a A to B. It's very simple. So if I want to stave off wrinkles, <laughs> then I should keep my glucose levels down. Yes. And you should also avoid smoking, you know, wear sunscreen, etc. But in terms of your diet, what you want to focus on is focus on reducing glucose spikes. Yeah, absolutely. What about things like acne and skin conditions? So those Spots. are more inflammatory based diseases. So eczema, psoriasis, acne, rosacea, those are expressions of inflammation going on within your body. And I like to think of the skin as a mirror to what's going on within. And so inflammation can happen to loads of different factors, but one of the factors is glucose spikes. So glucose spikes hurt our mitochondria, that creates inflammation. Then glucose spikes lead to glycation, which also leads to inflammation, and insulin release, and a lot of insulin also increases inflammation. So with every glucose spike, you're increasing inflammation within your body. And if you're susceptible to any of these skin conditions, you can have flare-ups or increase their intensity very simply. 